A personal trainer turned food influencer turned baker. And not to mention a Sunday Times best-selling author. Okay. We're really moving up in the world. <laughs> Eloise Head joining us now for Sunday Brunch. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's so nice to meet you guys. Eloise, tell us a little bit about your journey because uh, you've been doing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> So I was a personal trainer for about six years. Then I did food blogging, I guess you could call it, as a hobby on the side. And then as the UK went into lockdown, when COVID hit, that's when I started to post all my recipes online. And these are sweet, easy, indulgent recipes. And I wanted to make them really easy to make. And I wanted to give people something to do whilst we were all stuck at home. So that's basically how this was born. And I've been doing it ever since, and it's been very very successful. And I love this idea because we do want to be mindful of our health, but we also don't want to deprive ourselves of the good things. A hundred percent, yeah. My motto, I guess you could say, is all about enjoying all foods in moderation and mm -hmm. having balance with what you eat. See, I have that problem though. You make a pan of these magic bars and then <laughs> the entire pan goes into my mouth. Uh, Eloise, let's, and let's start on these disappear. cookies and cream magic bars. These sound delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so basically they're, they only have four ingredients. They're really easy to make. Probably one of the easiest recipes to make in my book because you can eyeball things a little bit and there's only four ingredients. So they're really, really nice and simple. Perfect for kids, perfect for first time bakers. They're sweet, they're crunchy, they're gooey. They have chewy edges. So yeah, they're, they're really good. They're one of my favorites. Okay, get us started. Okay, so I'm starting off with crushed Oreos. So I've already crushed these in my food processor because I didn't want too much noise whilst we're on the camera. So I'm gonna mix these with melted butter. Ooh. I've got my melted butter here. I'm just gonna pour that in. So explain to us as, uh, as a fitness expert, the Oreos and butter aspect of the healthy. I just wanted to make, if I was missing something and Oreos are the key to a nutritious diet, I wanted to make sure that we were on the same page. And but, I mean, can uh, we substitute wait, the Oreos nice, with Hydra? <laughs> Sean, should we okay, use so Hydra these instead? These are all combined now in the butter. Yep. So I have a lined 8 by 10 inch tin here and I'm going to pour it into there. So if you wanted to, you could always use a slightly bigger or slightly smaller tin. You would just need to make sure that you adjust the cooking time accordingly. Sure. Okay. So we have the butter and we're making that uh, delicious Oreo crust. Yes, Very so easy. we're making the base here. So we yeah. need to make sure that this is nice and even. And so it down. let me ask this you this, be quite firm. if you use regular Oreos and, and, and process them, it's going to have a different consistency if you go to the store and buy the already crushed up Oreo cookies, right? Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Because yeah. the we don't have already crushed up Oreos in the UK. I know. I, I didn't know we had them either. Oh, yeah, you can buy them <laughs> at the, in the baking aisle. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. It's just, just the, yeah, so, yourself. To be honest, I don't 100 percent know what the consistency of the already crushed ones are because I just haven't like used them. I haven't seen them before. Um, but I mean, it's just as easy. Well, not quite just as easy, but it's pretty easy just to crush them up using a food processor. Okay. So, uh, what's our next step? Okay. So I'm just going to make sure this is really nice and flat. Mm -hmm. So I'll give this a bit of a press down. Okay, so the next step is really easy. I have a tin of condensed milk here, and okay. all I'm gonna do is just pour that over the top. So it's gonna go all the way to the edges. Okay. And just scrape the rest of that out. I'm just gonna smooth that so it fully covers the base. You wanna be a little bit careful here because obviously the base is still quite wet, right. so I don't wanna disturb it too much. Okay. And then we have, uh, we go, we go our, to our next layer, and this is the magic of it because it got, comes together really quickly, right? So we have some. It really does. Chips. So the next one is chocolate chips. So Ooh. I'm using white chocolate chips here, but if you wanted to use milk chocolate chips or dark chocolate chips, that's totally fine. Okay. If white chocolate might be a bit too sweet for you, I like white chocolate in these because obviously it gives that cookies and cream kind of feel to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. 
And then I see some more Oreos sitting there. I guess that's the that's last the final layer, layer right? huh? That is the final layer, yeah. So, I mean, for example, if you didn't want to use Oreos, you can always use a different cookie. You might just have to adjust the amount of butter you use because some biscuits or cookies are drier than others. <laughs> yeah. But they're really easy to sort of switch the ingredients um, in and out. Okay, well, finish us up, Eloise. Okay, so next thing is literally just going to sprinkle the Oreos on the top. Yeah. So I'm just making sure that they're fully covered. And you got a finished and product. And these are already broken into quarters. You have a finished product for us we can show everyone? I do indeed. It just looks like that, but melted down a little bit. And it baked. pretty much does. Yeah. So after that, I would pretty much, this would be a bit more covered, but obviously we're on a bit of a time schedule. So I'm just going to press these down. Yeah. While well, you're but finishing that up, well, well, you're finishing that up, let's show the folks at home how they can find all your recipes as well. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, I'll keep finishing this. Yeah. Yeah, keep on finishing that. Uh, Eloise is on Instagram. Her book, Baking It Easy, is set to be released here in the U.S. Coming up in just two weeks, Eloise, August 16th. Exciting. You can buy yeah, it right it's very now. Exciting. You can buy it now on Amazon, and we'll have this okay. recipe but at show us the, Let's see the finished product. Let's. You want to see the finished product? Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Real quick. <laughs> okay, so the finished product looks like this. Oh, so I'm this in 12 squares. Let me right. see if I can push this forward a little bit. That's all right. great. Thank you so much, Eloise. Eloise, have a great day, all right? We'll be right thanks back. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for having me.